The art of tricking the brain, distorting the senses, challenging perception. You can't trust what you see, even with your own eyes, because your brain can be misled. Meet the Masters of Illusion. Hello and welcome to Masters of Illusion. I'm your host, Dean Kane. For centuries, it was believed that the world was flat, like this sheet of paper. But look at this graphic. When we rotate it, our brain reinterprets its configuration. A two-dimensional image appears to become three-dimensional. Rob Lake will challenge your perceptions as well. Watch closely and see if you can figure out this mind-blowing illusion. Joel Ward is really fast. Stay focused and try not to miss a moment. takes comedy magic to the next level. Eric Buss is leaps and bounds above the competition. Watch and see how. I actually need to find somebody to help me on stage. Let's see, who do we have? Uh, how about you? You look friendly. Come up the stairs, careful. And right over here. Perfect. What is your name? Laura. Laura, nice to meet you. Laura, you. where are you from? That's nice. All right, Laura, do you like rope tricks? Yeah. You do? I don't. I'm going to do a card trick. <laughs> is that okay? Sure. Good. My show, I'm calling the shots. This is a giant deck of cards. It's huge. It is the Humvee of playing card decks, except this does not anger hippies. Giant deck of cards. Laura, what I'd like you to do, touch the back of one of those cards and leave your finger on that card, and that will be the one you select. That one, excellent. Is that the one you want, or do you want to change your mind? I like that one. Excellent. All right, go ahead and take that to show everybody in the audience. Perfect. All right, go ahead and stick it right back. I will lose it into the deck. I'm going to try to find your card in a very interesting, yet dangerous way. 
For that reason, I would like you to stand right over here, out of harm's way, and out of my spotlight. <laughs> I will find Laura's card using this. Pogo stick of death. 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 Thanks. I call her the Widowmaker. All right, Laura. Hop on! This is great. You should have wore tennis shoes. You're screwed. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. If you fell off and broke your neck, you would own the entire building. Your family's like, hop on! No, Laura, you're just going to do your best Vanna White, and the crowd will go nuts. Do a little Vanna White action, crowd will go nuts. <laughs> that was good. Very nice. Best one all night. But first, I will bounce through a giant vat of glue. After that, I will bounce through the giant bin of cards. Hopefully, Laura's card will stick. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for most audiences, this will be enough. But I can tell you want more. I can hear you screaming, more, more, more. All right, for this audience and for this audience only, I will add one more element to this already crazy trick. I will also bounce across 240 air-filled landmines. <laughs> I'll set one off to demonstrate. Take my coat off for this one. Men, hold on to your ladies. Okay, you won't need to. That's fine. Reminds me of high school. All right, to recap, minefield, glue, cards, wish me luck, here we go! Ha. Right, take that, you hold on to the pogo stick. Perfect. Ha. Ha. Perfect. Stay right there, almost done, doing great. I'm 38 years old. Stay in school, kids. Well, ah. I almost owned a studio. Hello. Hello. Wee. No hands, people. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Okay, thanks for catching me. Mm. It's good stuff. You want some? No? Okay, it's okay. All right, big finish. Here we go. for you something that's a little strange. Brace yourselves. Okay, so it's very strange. <laughs> and now for the hard part. Watch as the middle of the rope uh, and the ends as they jump. From one side to the other. Hold on, hold on. You know this isn't real magic, right? Otherwise, you would have applauded. <laughs> what puzzles me is how the scissors appear on the rope. What scissors? The bee scissors. Yeah. I like the people who vocally react. <gasps> yeah, you know who you are. I'll tell you what. This trick is a lot more impressive. It's a lot more impressive. If I were to tie the ends of the rope together, right here, And I make the knot right here slide from one side to the other. I love that part. <laughs> but you know what? It gets even, even better. And all you have to do is just watch and listen. Watch as I melt the ends right here. 
off the rope. <laughs> Leaving me with just the middle. <laughs> I can't believe this worked. <laughs> Timing, it's everything. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not blink. This goes for everybody. Watch as the ends, as the ends melt back onto the rope. This is my favorite part. Here's a challenge. How much room is there in a box? David Zerbell proves that even a full box can be empty in the world of illusion. astonishing feats right before your eyes. To Rob Lake, illusion is neither fact nor fiction, but both. What do you think? I'm going to need some volunteers for those hands up high. Uh, the gentleman in the jacket there, and the green shirt as well, the gentleman here on the end, if you'll join us, and the lovely lady right here. And let's give them all a big round of applause. Right now, my assistants are taking these boxes off this table. If the two of you would please examine the inside of this box, check it out, bang on it, make sure it is solid. And if you throw check out this here, it's just the same. How does it check out? Good? Perfect. Check out all right. Please welcome my lovely assistant, Allie, to the stage. Gentlemen, if you would please come forward, I want you to lock her ankles in place. If you would please come forward, I want you to secure her ankles in place. Christiana, if you would please come to the front. Lift this collar up, put it around her neck, walk to the front here. 
perfect and tie her in place as tight as you can, but please don't choke her. I've got to have her for another show tomorrow. I want them to be the ones who lock her in place so you don't think I do something that allows her to cheat or escape somehow. As tight as you can, perfect. My assistants are going to put these coffins back over her body. Do not let go of your leash. Do not let go of your leash. Even though she's momentarily covered, you'll be able to view her body through the windows in the front, like so. Now, gentlemen, Steve, was it right? Every time this window opens and closes, I want you to come forward. I want you to come forward. I want you to reach and feel her leg, make sure she's still there, and let the audience know with two thumbs up. Mike, if you would come forward, reach in there, make sure they're real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's one more thing everybody needs to examine. This is the blade we'll be using. Please bang on it, watch out the edge, it is sharp. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you would please look inside of your windows. I want you to watch as the blade enters the box. You'll see the blade enters the box. Blade completely fills the box side to side, top to bottom. Rest on her middle. There's nowhere else she can go, nowhere else the blade can go. Is that right? Excellent. Take a step back, guys. Take a step back. Do not let go. Do not let go. We now will put solid matter through solid matter. Gentlemen, look below the box. Make sure you can see the blade passes completely side to side, completely filling the box. Come forward, check our windows out. Make sure she's still there, still locked in place. Don't let go. Don't let go. We're going to take this one step further. Uh, Christiane, I think your side has shifted a little bit. On the count of three, give it a tug. One, two, three, tug. Do not let go. Do not let go. We now have a woman divided. Put her back. Gentlemen, check out your windows. Make sure she's still there, still secure, still locked in place. Do not let go. My assistants are taking these coffins off. Hold your leash very tight. And please give Allie some applause for her bravery. Christiana, if you would come to the front, let her up, come to the front, let her up, she's going to sit up, let her sit up, and if you would let her out, gentlemen, let her out of the straps, you yourselves put her in, and please give her a big round of applause. Well, there it is, a lady split in half in front of a live audience, in front of up-close witnesses, and right in front of your eyes. Do you know how he did it? I don't. Remember who we're dealing with. These are the best in the world. These are the masters of illusion. Until next time, I'm Dean Kane. Hi, this is Misha Collins. Don't miss Supernatural this Tuesday at 9, 8 central.